Hey everyone, welcome back to the Weeble tutorial series. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to create a watch list on the Weeble desktop platform. And I will start off by saying that creating a watch list in Weeble is actually incredibly simple, so this should be a pretty short video. Now jumping right into it, let's make sure we're first on the watch list page. And if you look in the upper left-hand corner, it just looks like a little heart icon. From there, you're gonna see a page that looks a whole lot like this. And at the very top, you're gonna to see all of the watch lists you already have made. Now the very first one I'm looking at, I didn't actually make this, this is called Recently Viewed. It's just all of the symbols that you recently looked at. Pretty straightforward. The one right next to it is another one that you're not going to make yourself, it's just all of the current positions in your account. Right now, all I have in this account is SWN. To the right of that, you can see all of the watch lists I've actually created. All stocks, active, options, and test one. Now in order to add symbols to this current watch list or create a brand new watch list, all we have to do is look in the upper right hand corner and click on these three little lines. Once you click on that, a drop down menu is going to pop up and we simply need to click on edit a watch list, the second from the top. Once we click on that, the edit watch list window is going to pop up. And again, this is where we're either going to add additional symbols to our current watch list or create a brand new one. Now, starting with the first one, adding additional symbols, let's say we wanted to add a stock to the test one watch list. So all we have to do is come down here and click on it, test one. From there, you can see all of the current symbols in that watch list. All I have is three, Micron, SoFi, and Facebook. In this case, let's say I also wanted to add square to this watch list. So what we'll do is come down here to add a symbol. We'll then type in SQ in that window right there and click on square in the list right here. They actually just recently changed their name to block. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And now that you can see square has been added to the watch list in this section and we can already see it in the watch list up here in the upper left. Let's say we also wanted to add 3M company. We'll come back down here to add a symbol. We'll throw in MMM. We'll click it in the list there, 3M company. And again, we just added another symbol to our watch list. Removing a symbol from a watch list is just as easy. If we wanted to remove, let's say SoFi, we simply need to click on it and then say remove symbol. Once we're happy with everything, all we'd have to do is go ahead and hit done and our watch list is all set up. From there, if we wanted to create a brand new watch list, all we'd have to do is the exact same thing as before. Click on the three little lines, go down to edit a watch list. And then this time we're gonna click on add a watch list in the lower left. Once we click on that, it's just gonna ask us what name we wanna give it. Let's go ahead and just name this one test two in this case, and we'll hit okay. From there, you can see a new watch list has been added over here in the lower left, test two. If we go ahead and click on that, we can now add our symbols that we want to. We could also change the name of this watch list by clicking on the little pencil icon over here, and let's rename it uh, renamed. I'm very creative, and we'll hit okay. Just like before, if we wanted to add some symbols, just go ahead and add symbol, throw in a micron, We'll throw in, let's say, Twitter, and we'll throw in, and we'll throw in Nicola for some reason. There we go. And once again, if we hit done, we will see it at the very top, my renamed watch list. If I click on that, we can now see the symbols that I added. So you can see creating a new watch list or editing a current watch list is actually very easy in here, but we can also change the column headers that are up here at the top. Basically change the information that's being displayed to us about those companies. Now, right now you're gonna see stuff like symbols. So we can actually tell the stock that we're looking at, Twitter, the name of the company, Twitter, the last traded price, $43.42, the change for the day, the percent change for the day, and more information about the company to the right. But if we wanted to change that information, all we'd have to do is click on these three little lines next to the word symbol. From there, a watch list items menu is gonna pop up. And this is where we can start to pick the things that we wanna see. Now, right now on the right-hand side, you can see all of the things we're already looking at. These are all the things we already have on the right. So if we wanted to add something new, we could come over here to the left and let's say I wanted to also see, I don't know, PE ratio. I'll go ahead and check mark that. And now it should be at the very bottom. Yep. And I can just click and drag and move that where I want it. Let's say I wanted PE. Where did I put it right here? Let's say I want it right in front of the PE for the trailing 12 months. And once I hit done, you can actually see it up here in the columns. Now it's right next to PE for trailing 12 months. So just make sure you edit this to actually show information that's important to you. There's no reason to have something on here that you don't actually use and don't need to see. But like everything else in Weeble, it's actually very easy to do. Now, once you've actually created a watch list for yourself, you can also use that watch list on the other tab. So if we came over here to the stocks tab, you can see I already have a watch list on my left-hand side panel. And you can see right now it is my recently viewed watch list. But if I wanted to change it to the watch list I just made, I'd simply need to click on it and come down to renamed. Just like before, we can see these symbols that I already added and we can see some simple information, the current price and how much it's up or down for the day. Once you click on a symbol, like I just clicked on Nikola, you're gonna see that on the right, it changes to a Nikola chart. I'm now looking at the quotes page for Nikola. 
So using this watch list can also quickly navigate you around to the different symbols that are on that watch list. Now, one last thing I'll show you on here is on the watch list page, you can also add another watch list to the right of this one if you wanted to. So let's say I wanted to see the renamed watch list at the same time I'm keeping a look at my current positions watch list. I'd simply come up here to the upper right hand corner, click on those three little lines. From there, I'm going to add another widget and this one is going to be a watch list widget. Now that I've added the second watch list up here at the top, you can see second tab next to this one. I'm actually going to click and drag it to the right of my current watch list simply by coming down here to the little circle and moving it to the right of my current watch list. Now you can see it has been added already, but I'll give it a little bit of space so I can see both of them. And I think that looks pretty good right there. And now you can see I've got my My Positions watch list on the right hand side while I've got my renamed watch list on the left hand side. Now you don't have to do this. I just wanted to point it out in case you guys have very long watch lists that are keeping track of different things. So maybe the right hand side is the stocks you're watching, the left hand side are the stocks you're watching to trade options on. Whatever your reasons, this way you can see more stocks if you need to for some reason. Now that should answer all of your questions about how to create a watch list on the Weeble platform. If I did miss anything or you guys have any additional questions at all about Weeble, please let me know down below. If you did find this video helpful, please leave it a like on your way out and be sure to check out some of my other tutorial videos on Weeble if you'd like to learn more. I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you all in the next video.